Hey you guys, so I know I had mentioned in previous videos how God has been instructing me to do teachings. Um and God confirmed and the next couple of videos that I'm gonna be doing are gonna be like teachings. And um this series is gonna be exposing um the tricks of the enemy. Um and his tactics and what are being used in everyday life as well as ministry. Um, and I'm going to give a couple of examples from the Bible as well. My own personal experiences with me dealing with certain things that happen within ministry and that would happen within my marriage um, relationships and some of the stuff all happen at the same time. Okay. Um, but today's topic we're going to talk about in the uh, first topic we're going to talk about when it comes to exposing the trick of the enemy is um, the enemy will try to say that the people that he is attacking are crazy and have mental issues, right? Something is just not right, right? Um, and we see this throughout through the Bible, this tactic. We see this in, you know, ministry and things of that nature. But one of the main things that happens when someone can not manipulate you or someone cannot control you in a certain way, um, they will begin to um, call you crazy or say that you're crazy, say that you have mental issues. Um, and they'll begin to spread rumors about you being crazy, about you having mental issues because they want to change the per per they want to change the perception <laughs> of others and how they view you and how they perceive you to get them on their side and say that you're crazy. Um, some of them would also um, start treating you differently because they're saying that you're crazy. Um, and what else, Holy Spirit? Um, some of them will actually call you crazy to your face, saying that something is wrong with you to your face to try to make you uh, question yourself, to try to make you um, to try to play mind games with you, to get you into that mindset of thinking that you're crazy when you're not crazy. OK, it's just a spirit. That's what the tactic that the enemy uses. Right. And so uh, we see this all throughout the Bible where people thought Jesus was crazy on how he taught in parables, on how he was healing people, how he went to go heal a person. And um, the people was laughing and like the person was already um, was looking at Jesus crazy because they were telling Jesus that the person was already dead. And Jesus was like, no, the person is sleeping. Um, but, you know, he had to clear the room. He was like, if you don't pretty much believe, then you need to leave. Right. Um, trying to, you know, if God, if Jesus wasn't that very strong in his faith, um, <clears throat> he probably would have went around like went along with it of them trying to make him seem that he was crazy. That's why we really truly y'all have to have a strong relationship in God for ourselves and know God for ourselves and know what God is saying about us. Right. So um my personal experience, I had people to call me crazy um and say that I was crazy. Uh, because I wouldn't let them manipulate me. I wouldn't let them um, control me. I wouldn't let them um, try to manipulate me into things that were going against the will of God. Um, and so because of that, um, I got called crazy. I got teased. I got picked. I got made fun of. And this is within ministry, y'all. Like the devil don't discriminate. If he can use someone in any type of um, environment and it's sad because we go through this growing up as a child in school but then you it's crazy and it's sad when you have to go through it in ministry and I went through this in ministry too as well um about being called crazy um I had mental health issues and all this other stuff but what really took it to another level for me was that the people that were doing this to me and calling me crazy they kept nitpicking to get me to try to come out of character so it can validate what they were saying about me being crazy or about me having mental issues right being spiritually abused guys is a thing 
that's part of domestic violence being spiritually abused so i was being spiritually abused i was being mentally abused all within ministry and like i was like i said they were trying to make me feel as if I was crazy and trying to find different ways to trigger me to push buttons so I can react in a negative way to validate what they were saying about me being crazy, which is not true. Now, however, when you stay in type of these type of relationships or these type of um, things and God just dropped in my spirit, they're cults. This is not of him. This type of ministry that I ran like these are cults. When you stay in these type of environments for a long period of time or for years and it keeps going on and on and on because what they're doing is they're trying to place their toxic behaviors and things on you um and so when you leave from there you have to unlearn these toxic traits of being called crazy of being um of being um say you have mentally issue mental issues but but you have been mentally abused so if you stay in there for a long period of time you can suffer from um having mental disabilities or mental issues as far as anxiety and depression because they were abusing you mentally um you know to try to you, they, they were abusing like i said they were abusing you mentally so um it's not uncommon when someone leaves from a ministry that had been at where they had been spiritually mentally and emotionally abused which is domestic violence it's a, a category of domestic violence where they do develop mental issues and that is also like the trick of the enemy <clears throat> because um especially when you carry prophetic gifts especially like if you are a seer um the devil wants people to perceive you as crazy anyway so nobody don't believe you they want you to they want you to have mental issues so nobody won't believe with you believe you and, and say that you're you're crazy you're hearing voices you're schizophrenia you're all this other type of stuff which are demonic spirits right so that is one of the tactics that the devil uses uh, when it comes to um trying to um manipulate god's children um is First of all, just calling people crazy and saying that they have mental health issues. Y'all, we have to be very, very mindful when people just start saying, oh, they're crazy. Oh, they got mental health issues. You can't listen to everybody. This and that, the third. Like, I'm not saying that mental health, you, health issues is not real, but mental health issues are spirits. And when you are doing someone like that, it's a spirit. And. It's also a spirit that tries to overshadow the person and try to make people think that they're crazy when they're not crazy, right? Um, we have a lot of prophets. We have a lot of people in the Bible that were looked at as crazy, but they really was from God, right? Um, God reminded me of the story of Elisha when the, um, when the water was um, poisoned or something was poisoned and um, Elisha, told them to bring him some salt and they were like salt how is salt gonna make this better you know and I, I i know they thought he was crazy but what he did that prophetic that prophetic um thing that he did it healed the situation and made the situation better so even what may seem crazy or out of line to someone else it's not crazy and out of line to God. So just wanted to come and share this. Like I said, this is a series, but this is the first thing that God wants me to come and um, share is that the trick of the enemy, one of the tricks of the enemy that he uses in this season, in this hour towards his children is to call them crazy and to say that they have mental health issues. Um, you are not crazy. You don't have mental health issues. It's just spirits that you are fighting because these spirits have been sent to you. All right. Um, I'm not saying that therapy doesn't work. I'm here for God and therapy because sometimes we need to go through and unlearn toxic traits that have been passed down from generations. But this is what you are dealing with. And um, I pray you guys love the series that God has installed for me to do. Um, let me know if this series is helpful to you guys. And I love you all. And I will chat with you all later.